Coronation fact number four. This is the coronation spoon and it is the oldest surviving part of the coronation regalia dating back to the 12th century. So historians think it was supplied by either Henry II or perhaps Richard I. The reason that this is the oldest part of the coronation regalia is because the rest of the items, St Edward's crown, the scepters, the orb, were melted down after the English civil wars, these great symbols of monarchy. So why did the spoon survive? Well, it seems that nobody really understood quite what it was for. And so, a man called Clement Kinnersley, who looked after Charles I's wardrobe, bought it for 16 shillings. And when Charles II was restored to the throne, he gave it back, selling it, apparently, with a healthy profit. But the coronation spoon is used in the most sacred part of the coronation ceremony, the anointing which emphasises the spiritual status of the monarch who, until the 17th century, was considered to be appointed directly by God. So it was a particularly important moment in the past. And in this moment, this bird-shaped container, a kind of ampulla, is filled with holy oil from the Mount of Olives in Jerusalem. And at the beak of the bird, there is an opening for pouring the oil out into the coronation spoon. The Archbishop of Canterbury will then dip two fingers into the oil and mark a cross on the king's hands, chest and forehead. So sacred is this moment that it takes place underneath a golden canopy. And Charles, following in the footsteps of his mother, Queen Elizabeth II, has stated that he will not be allowing the cameras to film it. And so it remains a private moment between the monarch and God.